We are in Weezer, Idaho. It's a pretty big farming area. I've been married for nine years to Jason, and we have one son who is one year old and one on the way. My husband is a teacher, and through the school district, his health insurance was $760 just to put myself and my son on his policy, and of course we couldn't afford that. So we went ahead and put um, us on an individual policy, and that's fine. It's a pretty good policy, except for the clause about uh, a maternity deductible. You know, 50% of my income, that's insane. How are we supposed to live? I mean, between paying for a mortgage and paying for bills, for everything else, and food, and attempting to put money in savings. It just blows my mind, you know. We don't have a terminal illness. We're healthy people. Jason's never been to the doctor, you know, in years. And the school district, according to the readout he's been given, pays 800 and something dollars a month just for him. You know, and it's, it's like, where's all that money going? It was to the point where we were discussing whether or not we could afford a second child. And I got really angry about it. We don't ever go out to eat. We don't have cable. We don't have cell phones. I mean, there's nothing anybody can come into our finances and say, well, you could save money here. It's like there's nothing. So, you know, we'll just see what happens. Uh, all we can do is just trust in the fact that we've been healthy for our entire lives. In the long run, it's more cost effective for us to just put a little bit of money in a savings account in case something happens that probably won't happen than to shell out huge, massive amounts of money for maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't happen. Obviously, something major needs to change, and it needs to change soon.